hello I hope all is well with you guys and this is the second video I'm making uh, regarding the nude painting and um, I hate all the videos I really don't like the videos that tell people how to paint unless you're a beginner then okay that's no problem I also studied uh, you know other people's works and I even copied a few almost 40 years ago but uh, I, I'm not t trying to tell you how to paint but I can tell you how I painted these paintings. Now there are two ways basically that they paint. There's one that they call underpainting and basically they um, they do the contour drawing. They do the just the outline. Um, it's not that difficult if you practice drawing and then uh, you can basically do the underpainting which is one color with uh, white. You can mix it and then the dark area the uh, shadow wherever you see the sha uh, shadow I mean the dark areas you can also um, uh, make it uh, more more of that color mix it with white and then the area that is light uh, you can basically use less less of that color and more of a white so you basically have a design that you know what to do later on now when other painters do that they they uh, basically go back on the underpainting and then uh, they add their own colors and they actually repaint based on the first design now what I've done in these uh, well I did an underpainting uh, and then the underpainting depends on the color tone of the flesh so if the flesh is dark or light or orangish or brownish or reddish uh, I use that uh, main color for example red uh, with white and then um, I do the underpainting so I see the dark area and then the light area but what I do which is different I think is more like glazing even though it's not quite like glazing because this is acrylic and it dries very fast so I go over the underpainting with um, the other colors that I see what they call the local colors in the in the original if it's a photograph or anything else and then um, I look at that color and then if it's yellowish if it's like light if the light has hit that area I use maybe a little yellow but mixed with white remember you don't want to use pure color because it's going to be too harsh so you want to mix it with white basically flesh has um, doesn't have a single color you should know that uh, it has many many colors it has yellow it has white it has red it has brown and even you could use blue and even green but uh, for most part don't go over four or five colors because the more colors you have especially if you're a beginner if you don't have a lot of experience you don't want to use too many colors four or five colors is more than enough white with the main skin tone which is red or whatever you decide or brown and then on top of that then you can go for yellow uh, diff there are different hue uh, names of yellow naples yellow there is a uh, cadmium yellow you have to decide what you want to do uh, anyway that's basically it and then um, you go over it with uh, light uh, very light with um, basically that particular color so if you see uh, for example red um, and uh, you want to go over the underpainting you just mix it with white and then uh, with the brush lightly just touch it and you can maybe do on a square canvas to see what kind of colors you're going to get anyway that's it and then there's a, the other way that uh, they do if you want to do it that way um, you're more welcome to do it and that's uh, painting directly onto the canvas for that method, for that technique, uh, you need to be more experienced and know what you're doing. So you can look at the local color and know how to mix it and then put it there. So if you're experienced, you already know what to do. And I've all, all also painted like that before many, many times. At any case, I've included some examples as you see the contour drawing. And then there is also um, the progression of uh, how I painted the last uh, picture and you can see it for yourself 
at any case uh, just uh, try to do what you like to do and don't emulate anyone you can learn from other people but try to have your own style and have your own say in that matter in especially in the matters of art just try to be yourself anyway the last one is the two figures that you can see the contour drawing I've also painted the background first and then the hair and then I go back and do the technique that I described before good luck to you